My name is Stephs. I teach people how to code. So a question I get all the time is how do you really understand code? What tutorials, what courses, what languages, what should you learn to really grasp and understand software de development at a deep and professional level? So my opinion is based on coding since 1994, professional coding. I started writing a bit of code in the 80s, but I don't count non-pro. I only count when I've actually been writing production code. So that's since 94. So what can I tell you is the difference between the pro developers and noob developers. How do you get from noob to pro as quickly as possible? Here is the solution. Actually, I tweeted about it, so I'm just going to read my tweet since it's nice and concise. To truly understand development, you have to write production code. There is a huge difference between copying tutorials versus building an application that people actually use. The difference is similar to playing Call of Duty versus, versus actual combat. Yeah, that's the cheat code, by the way. The cheat code is not some tutorial, not a particular language, not a particular framework. The cheat code is actually getting into, getting into the code ring, and you gotta start writing code. And you start thinking, you start percolating those neurological connections, boop, so that you learn to be a professional developer. A big part about being a professional developer is being able to assess the situation and determine how to proceed to write the code. The problem with tutorials is that you're just following the teacher and you're not really breaking down problems, figuring out what the architecture should be, figuring out how to approach something, because every project is different. So you'll find plenty of tutorials out there on any number of subjects, and you can approach any particular problem in many different ways. So you can build, for example, a Twitter-like application with just about any framework, whether you do with Python Django, PHP Laravel, .NET and C Sharp, uh, JavaScript and Node with ExpressJS, any of these technologies and many more, Ruby on Rails even, you can build this thing with any of those technologies and you can solve the different problems you're going to have to solve in, in regards to that particular application in a myriad of different ways. I don't know if I use the word myriad properly, but whatever, in many different ways. So the pro developer is able to break down problems and, figuring, and figure out how to structure them in an efficient manner, and you develop sustainable software, software that can last the medium and long term without breaking the bank. That is why to really understand code, you have to get your hands dirty with real code. To really understand how to fight, you have to step into the ring. So besides being an ancient nerd with untold years of experience, you know, I'm 169 years old after all, I did a lot of martial arts. Started doing martial arts when I was 10 years old, so that means like 159 years ago. And so I've done many different styles. I've been in the ring many times. I used to be a bouncer in a nightclub. I've been in many street fights. So I've seen similar patterns in the martial arts world as I have in the program, uh, programming world, the software development world, as I've seen in the music world, as I've seen in the business world. So uh, what am I talking about? The importance of practical, practical experience that will give you that deep understanding, conceptual understanding of what you are doing. So I could explain something to you about coding. I can explain to you from 10, 20 different angles, and I've been working with schools for over a decade, so I have experience teaching. And you still won't get it, really get it. You still won't really get it solidly until you actually write that code, see it work, and then one day, the neural connections will be made, boop, between, uh, in your brain. And all of a sudden, what was kind of nebulous, which was kind of cryptic, which was kind of hard to understand, will all of a sudden become 
very understandable. So my mentoring program, UncleSteph.com, shameless self-promotion, all that I just talked about and a whole bunch more is taken under consideration in terms of the structure of the program and the curriculum and how everything is delivered. The goal of the program is to get you up to speed as quickly as possible in terms of coding and so on so that you can get your foot in the door as a professional developer. Now, just like a professional fighter, you don't jump into the ring the first time with Mike Tyson or Muhammad Ali for your first fight. You're not going to get killed. Same thing. When you first get into the, the development game, you're not going to go in there as a lead developer. You're not going to go in there trying to build the next Instagram or something. What you're going to do is you're going to go in there and you're going to start off with easy projects, small projects. But whether the project is super complex and big or whether it's much smaller and approachable, like you know, ins install a WordPress theme and configure it or write a WordPress plugin or set up somebody's e-commerce shops, st stuff like that. Whether you're building something quite approachable and relatively small versus something huge, the same muscles, if you will, in your brain will be worked. Those developer muscles, the ability to, again, break down problems into code, into libraries, and to solve them in a way so that you develop a system that uh, is not brittle. That is the key. So the quickest way to becoming a pro developer, the quickest way to understanding this at a very deep level is to get into the game as quickly as possible. I initially made that mistake of thinking it was the opposite. One of the things a lot of academics wrongly get is that they think that they can get deep knowledge about a particular subject through study, through academic study, reading books, writing articles, uh, doing tutorials or something like that. No, you gotta get into it. Software development, like so many other things, you really, really, you won't really understand uh, the nuances of what's going on until you actually jump in there, you jump into that coder's ring and you start building things. So you gotta build things, you gotta build things, you gotta build things. So there you go. To hammer uh, that dead horse over and over again, if you wanna become a pro developer, you wanna gain that deep knowledge of development, you just gotta accept that the cheat code is actually just doing it, just jump in there like dating too. You won't know who you want to date, who you're compatible with, what type of person you're compatible with, unless you date a lot of people, right? If you only have experience with one or two people, you don't really know yourself yet. Well, you, you know, you date 50, 60, or two, 300 people, then you're gonna really understand yourself. I'm exaggerating, you only need to date about 50, 60 people, then you understand yourself. All right, I'll stop here before I get myself into trouble, but you get the idea.